Happy Halloween! For today, I'm doing a mantle design using, once again, the Headless Horseman theme. Please check out my previous videos of a Headless Horseman table and fireplace design, and look at my other playlists for holiday decoration inspiration for Christmas and the other holidays. Now let's get started on today's tutorial. So I started decorating my mantle of my armoire using the same leaf design. I put lights in the leaves. I used these different sized trees from Target to kind of create a scary forest. And I got my Martha Stewart Headless Horseman, which I initially put in the center. My garden wasn't long enough, so I tried to add some picks on the end to extend it. Later, I went through and actually changed the design. Please stay tuned as I'm also doing a floor design on either side of this armoire. My first layout was to put the Headless Horseman in the center with pumpkins all around and jack-o'-lanterns. I then added flower elements, the same white and orange, and I extended the garland by putting some more picks at the end and added some fairy lights. This initial layout had the Headless Horseman in the center, but then I put the black horse on the side and realized it was kind of off balance. The black horse is an old Barbie horse that I found and I spray painted it and added and painted in some orange eyes. So looking at this top finished mantle, I have my flowers and garland. I rearranged everything to put the Headless Horseman on the left and the horse on the right and the cover bridge in the middle. I moved the scary trees forward and took the moon from my other display, powdered up on some styrofoam and made a moonlit design. I'm going to buy a second moon and put it back on my table, and I'm going to look for a thin white candle holder to put the moon on in the back. I then added some more flowers around the base of the covered bridge to hide the styrofoam that it's sitting on. I also added some green fairy lights, which we'll look at later in the lights off display. Now let's look at the floor display. So starting out with my floor design, I have my regular trees, which I put lights in, my wheat from my Thanksgiving display, this cage, which I filled with a wreath and put onto a stool that I got at a discount at Hobby Lobby, and I added some floral elements in the back. My cage was a challenge, is when you turn the lights off and put a candle in, and you can't really see the silhouette design of the cage. So I got an LED candle and this light gray green tool at Hobby Lobby and I put the tool inside the cage so it reflects the light and you can see the entire silhouetted design of the cage when the lights are turned off. I got this pumpkin light holder at Bath and Body Works and put an LED candle on top of it and put an orange wreath at the bottom to get more orange coloring into the floor design. The glass pumpkin has a skull inside of it, and I thought the pumpkin with the skull or head inside of it went along with my headless horseman theme, so I added it into my floor design. So here I added some more elements. I have this crow candle holder I got at Big Lots in dollar store books to give it height and an LED candle. I filled this glass skull with 30 lights at Walmart. Here is my LED candle with a skull inside. The green pumpkin is from the Dollar Tree. And I got that candle with the trees on it free at Michael's. I then added some more lights to it. Keep in mind height. Start with the back and make the back higher than the front. Don't make everything the same height. It looks kind of flat and you kind of lose your elements in there. So here's my final design with the lights on. We are going to look at it with the lights off. There's a candle in the cage with tool, LED candles, a lighted skull. In the middle, I have green lights to add more green. There's a better shot of the skull inside the pumpkin. And then my topiary behind there, I always have white lights on for different holidays. Now let's look at the entire display in the dark.
I have several more videos using the Headless Horseman theme, so please check out my playlist to get more decorating tips for the Headless Horseman and Halloween. I also have playlists for Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, and other holidays, so please check those out as well. Please hit that like and subscribe button, it would really help me out, and I'll see you next time for our decorating and shopping tutorials. Happy Halloween!